more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. All right, y'all, I got to show mad love to my man, one of my favorite people in all of college football, and that is one, Todd Grantham, a.k.a. Dr. Pressure. Sending those fabricated pressure schemes. Man, the dude's always doing something crazy, and I love it, man. Florida's absolutely lo loaded on defense, period, but definitely in the front seven. Um, if you look from right here, we got, uh, I believe, Jamario Moon right here, Jabari Zaniga, Marlon Dunlap, John Grenard, David Reese, I want to say that this is Ventrell Miller. And then you have Jawan Taylor right here at a third level. So this kind of tips it off for me, right? So everybody's going to poo-poo. They're going to run up in this. Miami fans were all extra annoying before the game. And then they were making all these excuses after the game and stuff like that. Then they try to get ghosts and stuff like that. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's a true freshman on the team. And, and the coach, true freshman. And, and everybody the stands. Everybody in the stands, true freshman, whatever. But still, just pay attention to these these pressure packages and what they do. So you're going to end up having Marlon Dunlap, right? He's going to end up being your flat defender, right? You don't know who's coming. He's usually going to send four, right? But it's still organic pressure, right? It's just coming from a different way. He, he'll sometimes send five and six and stuff like that. But, man, he'll send four just from a whole bunch of different ways, and you just don't know what to do. You get my man Grenard. He ends up working hook. Uh, Moon ends up working hook. And then, of course, you have Zaniga coming around but then you have a three-man weave going on right here with a delayed pressure with the second level players and then Jawan taylor shooting in as well some dope stuff i love it man and of course then you end up having zero pressure right on the on the outside right here because sean davis ends up in man coverage on anything getting vert right here. So he'll convert the man cover. So zero pressure, but you still don't know what's going on. Let's check it out. Obviously, this is not a highlight channel. This is a film study. Stuff will be paused and rewound that nauseum and deal with it. All right, so here we go. All right, so check this out right here. If you're looking at this and you're, you're the quarterback right now, you're working with your front face and play action fake. Look, it looks like everybody's coming, right? You think this is just all out pressure. We used to call this avalanche when I played, right? But no, it's only four people coming. Jamario Moon, right? Working the hook zone. Renard, working the hook zone. Look who's actually come. Just four people. Marlon Dunlap. You got big Marlon Dunlap working the flats, right? If DJ Dallas pulled up this way, Marlon Dunlap, Dunlap would run with him, which he does, right? So that's that's not dope to you? Come on, man. This is where the toss is made. Three-man weave right here. Freeze hit the A-gap. Right, then right behind him, right behind him. Actually, this is what makes it right here. Ventrell Miller, he's hitting this A gap. You get a free runner with Reese right there, and then you get the speed coming behind both those guys. Decent hit, decent wheels. Then Jawan Taylor coming. Say it with me, Doctor Pressure. Come on, man, force him some to get rid of that bad boy. All right, real quick, Doctor Pressure. Five man pressure coming on this one right here. Name the person coming. All right, you were probably wrong. Look, my man Sean Davis coming way from the third level on a Fox Blitz. Everybody else doing that one two thing on the front, right? Now look at this, right? They're running out of their base three four alignment right here, so they're running that. So then it becomes cover zero again. Jawan Taylor man up on the tight end right there, and then same. Thing with the with the boys over here, C.J. Henderson and blah blah blah, right there. But man, sending third level pressure, that's some Rex Ryan stuff, and we're talking about in college football, man. So here we go. They have, let me see, they have pretty much max protect, right? Max protect when you when DJ Dallas ends up just working off of the play fake right here, and he's in there to protect too, and it still doesn't matter, right? Because you're getting collapsed pressure with Jamario Super Freak Moon over here. Right, working against the right tackle. Then you got Davis coming on a delay, right? Because it's going to be de a delay because he's coming from the third. So these pressure schemes, man, if you've been in them, it's all about rhythm and timing. It's almost like offense, right? If you show it too early or if you come too early, um, it gets thrown off. But, man, the right delay and then that organic pressure pushing people off the spots, you got to keep working, man. Same thing right here. Sean Davis just keeps working. And you know the rest right there. Forcing them to throw it away again. Dr. Pressure. All right, who's coming on this one? This time you have a four-man front, your nickel package. Grenard on the bump out. 
he could possibly be coming or he can have flat or hook duty. Adam Schuler right here. My man Kyrie Campbell right here. Jabari Zaniga right here. Reese Miller. Who's coming? Let's see. Actually, I'll go ahead and tell you. Reese converts the man coverage on Will Mallory right here. And what happens is my man Trey Dean coming from the star position. Grenard on the bump out working flat. In case DJ Dallas goes that way. And got Schuler taking a C gap arc. So nigga getting up Phil. Kyrie coming, tying up a couple of blockers. And then you have the great escape. My man coming on delay right here. Ventura Miller coming with all that speed. And that's what really gets it home. All right. See right now, if you're, what are you looking at if you're the QB? You want to see what the safeties are doing? You want to deep, real quick, deep to short. Should have been looking at that anyway. But you probably think everybody's coming. Now you see Reese in man coverage. You probably don't feel this, but this is working inside out with DJ Dallas. So he does a good job of coming right here. But all you want to do on this is get somebody free, right? So this acts as pretty much a bait and switch kind of deal, right? They want DJ Dallas to come out here. Because the quickest way to point A from point A to point B is what? Straight line, right? So they draw Dallas out. Look, two on one, two on one. Now, is he going to be able to redirect and get here to get Miller in time with him coming with all that speed? Don't think so. Look at him. Hand like a turnstile. He runs through the turnstile. Jaron Williams in panic mode. Got to get up out of there. Schuler uncovers. He's just pretty much in trouble. Damn, look at that, man. All that speed. These dudes rotating like 12 deep, man, in the front seven. It's nasty. You better respect them Gators, baby. All right. Now they're in a four-man front. Remember, they're in their base 3-4 before. Now they're in their four-man front. You have, uh, man, I'm not sure who that is right there. It's probably Grenard, I would think, with his hand in the dirt right here. Coming at damn near a nine technique, but they probably have an alert call right here. So you have um, these cut splits right by the receivers, and that brings in your star player right here, uh, meaning your nickel defender, Trey Dean, my boy Trey Dean, um, matched up right here with Mike Harley, right? So whenever he's drawn inside like this, it's probably an alert call to go ahead and send him because he's close to the quarterback now. They send him a lot anyway, and he's usually a little further out. So when the it nat he's naturally drawn in there on something that looks like it could be man coverage and he's matched up on a receiver, he's just too big and too physical for most inside receivers like that. So they probably alert him on that and go ahead and send him. So, yeah, that is Grenard over there. And you know him. He's got some – man, I'm telling you, man, Grenard is a nasty, at least from this particular game. Like once I said before, we don't know how it's going to play out. But from what I saw in this particular game, I'm super excited about him. But look at Craig, Trey Dean working against little-ass Mike Harley right here, right? Mike Harley ain't got nothing to offer him right here. So look at him. He's holding and everything, and it still doesn't matter. And my man had to do a back to the basket play action fake. So, right. So that takes even more time. You have a, it could have been worse. Look, Zaniga's actually following the play action fake, right? So he squeezes down hard, right? So you got your contained player squeezing down hard. And then Brevin Jordan on the cross formation block on his bootleg or this rollout or play, just a play action fake just in general, right there. Back to the basket play action fake. Nope. Grenard uncovering. Trey Dean shrugged off a little ass Mike Harley right there. Jaron Williams is in trouble. I mean, look, damn, he gets lifted up off the ground, too. Spread his herb ass on the grass like fertilizer. All right, new cast of characters. And the fact that they got those lockdown corners, those NFL draft pick, first round pick corners, you know that they're able to do the zero coverage stuff. And it just forces the QB to hold on to the ball a little bit longer anyway. But then you bring these speedy off ball linebackers like, like a James Houston who's bumping out right here, kind of in a zone with man principles. Mari Bernie shooting the A-gap. Jabari Zaniga coming. Jamario Moon working the flat. And you have Dunlap coming, tying up two blockers, right? Two blockers. That's him right there. And, of course, inside Luke coming with my man, Grenard. And what did I tell you? There's always an alert right here. Anytime you bring these defensive backs closer to the formation, by having your receiver there. So you can see Harley pointing at him right now. He already knows what's about to go down. Sean Davis coming. 
attacking as well. So what are you going to do with that? Just too much speed and then people are covering. You just got to try to get rid of the ball hot. All right, so that's how many people come in, really. Since he's just meant to tie up some blockers, you have one, two, three, four. Just a four-man pressure. But what I tell you, they're just coming from everywhere in this ton of speed. What are you going to do with that? Nothing. So Jamario Moon coming right here. You already have man coverage right here. You have somebody shooting to the post. Not sure who that is, but they're shooting to the post. Jamario Moon in the flat. He's a freak. He can, he can do that. What are you going to do with that? You just got to just hope and pray, right? So he does a good job. Jaron Williams did a great job the whole time getting the ball off, but really much off or not right there. CJ Henderson on him, and it's done. Dr. Pressure. Man. So love these fabricated blitz schemes, these pressure packages by my man Ty Grantham. He's been doing it for years and years and years all over college football, all in the South and even in the Midwest. Uh, he was developing that back at Michigan State um, around those guys as well. So, But, man, with that being said, you want more of this, make sure you tune in. Keep it locked right here at Top Billing Sports. Your boy Murph, the Underground King. I'll have more, man. I'm thinking about, thinking about going full in, man. You guys let me know if you want to go full in, man. Who out there got some money in their pockets and you want to get down with the Gator gang, baby? I want to have kind of a blended chat group, too. We're already thinking about it at my Georgia site. I want to have a Georgia and Florida group chat site. So let me know if you guys want to get in on that. That should be pretty spirited. And we'll be going at that bad boy uh, 24-7, all right? Thank you for watching. Your boy Murph, the Underground King. I am out. Peace. Real men watch to the end. Real football heads. Under pressure. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.